Yo, what's up? And welcome back. Another Wednesday, some more puzzles. Uh, before we get into that, though, this video is sponsored by myself. <laughs> I made an entire escape game that includes this custom USPCC deck of cards, which is beautiful, might I add, as well as some other things you'll need along the way. During that time, you will be getting help from me. Finally, listen, I've been trying to get a hold of a Vectac technician I filmed over 60 videos, Easter eggs. If you're not sure about this escape game, here's what I'm offering you. You can scan this QR code right now, allowing you access to the beginning of the game, and you'll start to get a feel for the work we put into this. If then you choose to buy one, use code SAVE20, and you can save 20% off on my website, first.shop. I'll leave the link below, and you guys can check out the escape game and the deck of cards for yourselves. Back to the video. I'm still here. Today, we're checking out four Karakuri puzzles. They're kind of surprise puzzles. I kind of just ordered them, didn't open the boxes. So we're going to have this whole unboxing experience. I've got my coffee here, and I'm chilling in the Bob studio. Uh, this is our podcast studio, by the way, bottom of the barrel, if you want to check it out. It's 18 plus, just in case uh, there is swearing. Without any further ado, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into solving some of these puzzles. Right, some coffee and puzzles. Here we go. We got four of these puzzles, and I haven't really opened them yet, so we're going to see what this uh, sort of opening experience is like. Karakuri always send these beautiful puzzles that perfectly fit every puzzle. Now, I have this, this theory, because no two boxes are alike. I have this theory that they custom make the boxes to fit the puzzles perfectly, which, uh, which I think is true. So here we go. This is the first one. Every one of these puzzles comes with uh, a solution as well. So we got this Karakuri box sort of business card and then you have the solution here now usually they're in these tiny little envelopes but they always have these sticker seals on them small note from karakuri we can get rid of that the bottle lid made of walnut japanese walnut maple magnolia and katsura the lid is not hard but not easy to open bottle is familiar and everywhere in our life thus gimmick is effective and unique this is cute Striped bottle, please relax and have a go. Original idea by Naoko Ono, handcrafted by Yasuaki Kikuchi from the Karakori Creation Group. All right, so it's like a jar. Now there's this imprint here. There's this, it's, it spins around. I mean, it's like one of those pill bottles you gotta squeeze. Oh, the bottom, what if we push here and then turn? No, I like this. I like the simple puzzles. For those of you ask, I'm using the R5C by Canon. Love this new camera. We're using our podcast mics. We're set up in the podcast space right now. You guys want to check out our podcast, Bottom of the Barrel. Just hit 10,000 subs. Okay, so no forcing. This is a tricky one. There's not much to go on. Doesn't seem to be any interior sort of Anything on the inside that rattles around. Uh, all we have is this that pushes down and this that spins. And it sort of gets caught a little bit. There's a little bit of friction. We're off to a good start. What would you do here? So there seems to be some pin in the middle, some round pin. You kind of see that through the crack here. If you got to line up the grain somehow to something else. Trying to see if there's a point where it pushes down more, but it really only pushes down about that far. Oh! Wow. Wait, that can't be it. Oh. There you go. Oh my goodness. How much fun is that? That is beautiful. Look at that. What a remarkable little mechanic here. And that just locks back in. So I think I went, I line these up with this that's here, push to the side and it comes out. How satisfying is that? Check that out. Wow. That is a lot of fun. Oh, 
Oh, you do it one-handed, which is kind of cool. I can do that all day. Oh, love this. The bottle lid solved. Once these are solved, I usually end up putting them back on the shelf and that's exactly what we are going to do. I never keep the boxes though. And a lot of people are like, well, I gotta get the boxes. But uh, I like displaying the puzzles so that the boxes and I have no room for empty boxes. This next one, conditioned reflex. Look at that little puppy on it. Oh, little puppy. Aw, oh, there's an extra piece here. I think that is the first time I ever receive an extra piece for a Karakori puzzle. Here's the tiny envelope I was talking about. This is the solution envelope. And this beautiful little dog here. He's got some moving parts. He's got a little mouth under here. He's got his little tail, which is the drawer, I presume. And he's got his paws out and his head might swivel. We don't know that yet. He's got his nose. Maybe you got to boop his nose. And then we got this and looks, what this looks like is a little, um, a little bottle. Japanese walnut, magnolia, and keaki. The motif is the condition reflex of Pavlov's dog. The condition reflex that the dog drips saliva when he hears the bell ring even without food. But I made it a little different. The emphasis is on facial expression of the dog. I think I was able to express his innocence well. You might laugh unintentionally. The mechanism is simple but lovely. From Yo Kakuda from the Karakori Creation Group. All right, so we know that if you smell, oh. oh, oh, no way. All I had to do is, <laughs> all I had to do is read the thing. That is so cool. Look at this. If he smells it and you pull it away, his mouth opens up. And his butt, well, his butt opens up too. But that's where the secret is. That is so cool. How it's all interconnected. You can push his little tongue back in. That is amazing. Wonderful little puzzle. Very happy with that. Number three, see what I mean about the perfect boxes, the way they fit? This lovely work of art is called Banana, made of walnut, wenge, Japanese torea, and mizuki, which is dogwood. There's a silhouette of a person on the side of the box. If you move the person forward, the drawer will open halfway. But you won't be able to open the drawer lid as it is. Ah, look closer. There's a banana peel at the person's feet. Guess what will happen to him next? It's very simple to open. Enjoy the humorous movement of the gimmick. Original idea by Tomoharu Tanaka, handcrafted by Osamu Kasho from the Karakuri Creation Group. Now, one of the reasons I love Karakuri so much is that they always incorporate a bit of humor into their puzzles. They're always a little bit humorous and there's childlike sense of humor. And I think it mirrors the childlike sense of wonder you get when playing with these. So really special. So as he said, the man, now the drawer is half open. Ah, there's like a lid opening on the drawer here. Drawer is half open, but notice the banana. So what if he slips on the banana? Oh, ah, he slips on the banana and his legs go up in the air. And now the drawer can be opened fully. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> that's so that's so adorable. Some of these are simple. Some of these are a little bit more complicated, uh, but nonetheless, they're all beautiful. I'm just so in love and infatuated. I can't wait to go to Japan and and see how they craft these. They're really something else. So I guess if he goes back, so you can go all the way. That's a cool mechanic. You can go all the way without turning and then that's stuck. But the real way to do it is to whoop, slip, and then it comes out all the way. Very cool banana and finally the fourth one that we've received is the volcano oh this is actually interesting i believe this is the first time we have screws in a karakuri puzzle normally it's all held with glue or sort of uh, dovetails and wedging we've got a volcano as you can see the lava's in the middle let's read a little bit about the volcano again from the idea contest made from walnut old katsura and 
paddock. It is an item with a towering volcano as a motive. It was finished in a steep octagonal pyramid shape. We also wanted to make it look like Mount Fuji with snow. We finished it in a color reminiscent of a volcano. Old Katsura, the material of the summit, may really be a tree that was once buried by volcanic activity. If you look through the crater, you will find plenty of red magma. Is the magma hot? Still, when you press the magma with your finger, it seems to move a little. So how do you open the volcano? Original idea by Aoto Tabuchi, handcrafted by Hiroshi Iwahara and Hideaki Kawashima from the Karakuri Creation Group. So they're telling us, touch the lava, but nothing happens. And this thing seems to twist off a little bit too. So my guess is we push and we twist as we go down to see. Huh, interesting. A simple one. Look how pretty that is though. You guys think it has something to do with what's on the bottom? Hmm. Can't feel anything around there. There is, there is something rattling around in there and I'm not sure what it is. The reason I'm bagging it is because sometimes there are small magnets that you have to gently tap for them to like stick somewhere else or you just don't know yet. I feel like this might be a red herring. Maybe not. I guess this is the Wenge, the dark one on top. I know it seems like I'm being rough with this, but there is a mechanic on the inside and I can't spin it, so. I gotta push down and then smack it. You can hear that. It's like a doom, doom, doom. Oh, wait, no. It was up. Did you see? <laughs> I gotta put down on a surface. It was up. We had it. We actually had it. it like it 100% it was up. Ugh. Oh. Oh my God. This was a red herring. Look at this. It does nothing. And then it locks in. Literally banging it was the only thing you could do. There it goes. Huh. I mean, interesting. I am a, <laughs> I am a little mad that that was a red herring. So if I just, no, no, it's not working. There we go. So you gotta give it a good smack. Like it absolutely requires a, a pretty good smack. Look at my hands, palms are red. That will also now go up on the shelf, a beautiful little volcano. Well, hot dang, there you go. A friendly reminder, if you guys wanna check out the escape game, uh, you can scan the QR code and try it for yourself. And then if you like it, you can head over to first.shop, use promo code SAVE20 to save 20% off this escape game. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys chilling, hanging out. I'm off to Spain in a bit, gonna film a ton of magic while I'm there. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we'll see you then. Have a great one, peace.